Marquis Alex, and welcome back to Fable 2 and the World of Albion. And this is Roland the Bard, I believe it is. And he wants me to walk around with him and give him inspiration for his songs. We are here in Bowerstone, and I believe we're waiting for Teresa for some reason. I wonder what she wants. You can find all sorts here. It's Bowerstone's general store. The food is probably better than the muck they sell at the stalls. Less likely to give you the runs. Oh, lovely. Remind me why I came to the city? The camp weren't so bad. And here we have the local coach house. Usually it runs a vast service to Oakfield, but there's been bandit trouble down that way lately, so it's closed for a while. Oh. I was going to write a song about it, but then I didn't. Well, you shouldn't do that, mate. If anyone wants to have a bit of advice, it's do what you please. And do what you can when you can with a little bit of motivation. Because it's well worth it. Just look at me, for instance. Had no motivation to do this until I did, I guess. That's probably a bad way of putting it. Oh well. Seems to be nothing down here but a few slums. Poor people. Still living down on the riverfront, huh? Well, at least you get a nice view, I suppose. It's not too bad. You've got floodgates and everything. At least your house ain't gonna get flooded. And across the road. Oh. This is the Bower Bridge. Nice and uh, bridgey, don't you think? <laughs> There's usually a few stalls set up if you fancy some shopping. Bridge they call Bower, where a whiff of wet rat rose up rather sour. I'm going for a bit of an epic feel on that one. Nah, it doesn't really work, mate. But keep trying at it, keep trying, you're doing well. But since we're on a bridge, there's only one thing we should do. Hey. Ooh, hello. What's this? Uh, no, I, mm, I don't think I want to go down there just yet. We'll probably go there later, guys. But I had to check, you know. Thought it could be treasure. Yeah, well, I could have got an amethyst or something. Actually, you know, that's a good point. There's a general store there, and I've completely neglected to sell my amethyst. Let's do that now. Where is the seller? Vendor! Vendor! Come what is here. It you need? I want to sell my stuff. I don't... Um, let's get rid of that because that's just disgusting. Do you have disgusting. any other items I might be interested in? Well, I might do. Give me a moment. Two amethysts. Always happy to buy your unwanted items. Awesome. The temples of light and shadows are always a feature of the program. Okay, so apparently there's temples of light and shadow. Oh, that sounds about normal. Poor sod. Oh, Why can't I give him any I money? I really envy the bards of the past. Back when there were heroes everywhere. Not that any of them were as good as you, of course. Well, they had too much inspiration, like whereas you need now. inspiration. Ah, the clock tower. Didn't Teresa say we needed to meet here? Where is she? Now, here is a fellow with a fine set of lungs. The town crier. Doesn't just tell people when it's time to go to bed, you know. He sells titles too. So any time you fancy a change of name, pay him a visit. Oh. Let's see. The hero decided to gain a new title. One that would sound good in any recital. Well, that's not too bad. For this he approached the trusty town crier. But all he had left was fat ugly liar. <laughs> I have uh. bad news. I'm afraid I will be delayed for a while. In the meantime, you should buy some new equipment and prepare for the challenges ahead. But you'll need money. If you need money, there are jobs to be found. I believe the blacksmith has an opening. And here is the town square. The very heart of Bowerstone. This is where I ply my humble trade. Cozy, isn't it? Now, let me think. The hero arrived at the town square home of a minstrel without compare well i have 
nothing compared to the cry of wild hogs during mating season, if that counts. <laughs> oh, God. That's more information I care to know, mate. But since Teresa's, you know, stuck for a little while, God knows what she's doing, I might as well see about this. Ah, yes. The noble blacksmith. The friend of any good adventurer. You can buy weapons here. Finest bower stone steel. Oh, you've invented steel oh, then. It should be good. <laughs> if you all visited the trusted blacksmith for a sword that would become pure myth, and uh, uh, the, the bard that was standing at the side decided to be quiet forthwith. That's a good idea, mate. You're starting to annoy me ever so slightly. <laughs> That's how you make a blade. Wonder how well I can go before I absolutely mess this up. What do you think, guys? Maybe 15? Let's try and aim for 15. Gunning for glory. I got what you a good strike. Yeah, it was a good strike, wasn't it? I can see that this could get rather dull fairly quickly, Keep actually. It like that. Maybe I might do this in my spare time, guys. I mean, I've got a decent amount of money anyway, haven't I? I'm I sure I can get on with this at another time. Closing. What? Really? Why is everything closing? I mean, look, it's still gorgeous sunshine out. This is just the thing to inspire one, don't you think? Hmm. Well, if that's the case, I might as well just have an exploration around, huh? Bit of a nosy. Let's see, what's around here? Oh, nothing but a few houses and stuff, it seems. Oh, there's a cellar here. But I guess that would be trespassing, wouldn't it? Anything around here? Nope. Guess not. I wonder what Teresa's doing. Like ornaments. I've no idea what they are, but they sell them here. Oh. So this is like an ornament vendor. Oh yeah, this is coming back to me very slowly. Add them to the weapons and the weapons become stronger. Haha! <laughs> the cow and corset! They sell this thing called alcohol, apparently. Never tried it myself. <laughs> you can usually get a job here, too. If adventuring is anything like barding, you'll need one. Let's see. The hero went to the cow and corset, um, where a rhyme doesn't fit unless you force it. Uh, maybe not. That's not too bad. You know, I think he can do well as a bard, all things considered. Uh, is there anything around here? Mm, anything at all? Anything that could, you know, possibly loot? You know, without. Ah, the castle. Lord Fairfax hasn't been seen in here going on ten years now. Ten years? Ten years and you haven't had one political head. Like, where's the mayor? Or is he the mayor? If he's the mayor, he's doing a fucking shit job. And if that's the case, why isn't anyone else taking his job? I'd take his job. In fact, I probably will take his job. If he's that bad. He's quite special. The stylist. They don't just give you haircuts, you know. They can grow you an instant beard. Okay. I have returned. Meet me by the clock tower in the main square. Oh, there she is. Stalls with oh, because that's not, you know, tomorrow. strange at all, is it? I apologize for the delay. Events are moving quickly indeed. What events? Think about your life. All the places you've been, the people you've known. 
everything you've done. Well, that's not a lot. How many moments? How many memories? Again, not too many. Thag and his men. They had just as many. And now they have none. Because of you. Do you feel the weight of responsibility yet? No, not really. You will get used to the burden, as all heroes must. Come. The world is better off without Thag. And certainly Bower Lake is in your debt. Exactly, that's why I feel no remorse for this. to really see the impact of your actions, you need look no further than Bowerstone. It has changed much since you lived here. Particularly Old Town, where you spent your childhood. Never forget that even the simplest choice can have far-reaching consequences. Hmm, okay. So if I have cereal today, the world might change. Okay. Look. That is where Lucian is now. The Tattered Spire. Where? What, you mean that black rock in the distance? Must be quite lonely over there. The Spire was intended as a conduit for all the magic in the world, granting the kingdom's ruler a power so great he could bend reality to his will. On the day it was completed, and the first wish made, a light bloomed inside. Though its nature could not have been darker. Albion shattered. Centuries of civilization were wiped out in moments. Its people erased from existence. Some say that this was the first wish. An end to a hollow and corrupt world. And for a purer one to take its place. And now the spire rises once again. By Lucian's hand. Lucian found documents which foretold the coming of one who would stop him using the spire. And that someone's me. That is why your sister died. Because he thought it was and her? that is why you will face him. Now. The cards have shown me this. The cards? Here. Take a look. Really? You're using tarot cards to tell my fate? Really? Each Teresa. of the three heroes you see in the cards is a step on the hidden path to Lucian's downfall. And the life force of heroes, will itself, is the key to the Spire's power. Lucian's agents scour the land even as we speak. You must find the three heroes before Lucian does, because you are the fourth, the one who will bring his downfall. I have seen a vision of a holy ritual in Oakfield. Salvation, though bittersweet, is delivered by one of incredible strength. Speak to the abbot at the Temple of Light and see what you can learn of this pilgrim. The road to Oakfield will be dangerous. Good luck. So we're going to basically hire the mountain from Game of Thrones to defeat Lucian. Lucian don't stand a chance. This person probably lifts heavy water every day. <laughs> it takes a break. Well, guys, with that being the case, I am going to spend some time away from the camera and try and get some more monies. I am going to be doing this legitly. I am well aware that there are cheats to this game that will aid me in getting such money. But in all honesty, I'm going to try and play this legit. I'm going to go into that blacksmith over there, get five star, get some money and buy some property. So until then guys, take care, bye bye.